Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Heather S here. I'm going to film this look for you guys. It's a very sweet, pretty, romantic look for Valentine's Day. It's my soft and romantic Valentine's Day look. Don't forget to give this video a nice thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to go in and I'm going to prime my lids and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Eyelid Primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid for my base and do the other eye. Do you guys have anything special for Valentine's Day planned? Um, I'd love to know and hear what you're doing in the comment box below. Does not mean that you have to have a honey in your life. It does not matter. I just really love right now my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which I'm going to use. It's full of just really pretty varieties of shades and colors and tones and different textures. So I'm going to start off by just setting the base. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow. See, I thought that I cannot say that word. Eyeshadow. Sea brush. And I'm just going to go in with the color Peaches and Cream to set the base. And this brush is great because it's like a flat top shader brush. So it picks up the product and just really deposits it perfectly onto the lid. Elf has some of the best brushes. All right, so that's all over the lid. Now let's go in with a little color. And I figure I'm gonna start off with my crease first. Can't find the brush that I want. Uh, puree. And I'm just gonna deposit that with the Sephora Pro Crease Brush into my crease. So if the color that I'm putting into my crease right now were a bright green and that's something that you love and feel good about and want to wear it for Valentine's Day, go for it. I totally 100% encourage you. I actually think that's really great. I love seeing the way girls and boys and women and men choose to do their makeup, but this is just me and I've chosen to just do a nice pretty warm color into my crease, warm brown. And just make sure, obviously, you guys, that you really blend it out very well. Really diffusing it. Blend it out. Crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to soften up the crease. And I'm going to go in with my MAC 224 blending brush. And there is no additional product on this brush right now. It's just clean. Should I get it? No. I'm not getting it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of Luscious onto my lid. And I'm using my Sonia Kashik eyeshadow brush. And then just going back in again and blending everything out. Next on my lid, I'm gonna take another color just to add a little bit of that blush shade. Bellini. I don't know what brush this is. It's just a simple crease brush. I'm just using this to blend out the Bellini onto the outer corner of my eye. Applying that, patting it on, almost lightly stippling it on in the outer pocket of my eye. I'm sort of pressing it down as you can see here. Like so. I like to go back in between each step and just continually blend everything, really softening everything up, diffusing the colors, just brings everything together. And you don't have to, you know, blend everything away, but you can sort of just make sure that they're nice and married. Let's highlight under our brow. I'm going to do a matte color because I've really used a lot of shimmer so far. I'm going in with, uh, uh, I use this brush all the time. This is my blending fluff brush. A little more peaches and cream and maybe a little white peach. And brighten underneath my brow and also soften and diffuse the colors at the top. And as I'm doing that, you'll see it's also sort of blending out and diffusing what I have. Okay. All right, so 
here's the fun part. We're gonna line our eyes. And to line my eyes today, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid liner in black. But I have a problem because this applicator makes me very nervous. I've come up with a little trick and maybe it's a beginner's trick. I don't know. So I'm gonna take the liner and I'm going to apply it just to the back of my hand, making a mess. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite liner brush, unless another one comes out, which of course it's going to, but my e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. And I'm gonna dip that into the puddle of black liquid e.l.f. liner and I'm gonna line my eyes. I wanna do a pretty, thin, not too thick line, unless of course I mess up, in which case I'm gonna wind up looking like a panda. But the goal is to do a thin, pretty line. And I have in other videos, but it just makes it so easy because the bristles are perfect in length. Hold your breath and a quarter. Next, let's do the other eye. You're gonna have to give me a minute because I'm gonna have to hold my breath. And you know already when you've messed it up because this one I can just tell already is gonna be so much thicker. Uh -huh. <sighs> Taking a breath. Ugh, I like have it in my hand. I don't know if you guys know I'm screwing it, meaning I'm gonna add a little bit more, I think. Which is probably the biggest mistake ever. Okay, and maybe, oh stupid Heather, don't do this. I'm just gonna try to clean it up. Eh. Oh, oh, okay. All right, okay, you're doing great, Heather. Just give a girl positive reinforcement. Whoop. Heather, you're doing great. Great job, girl. Keep it up. Love it, girl. Love it. Stay strong. You can do this. You're the queen. Okay, so positive reinforcement helps. I didn't mess it up. And, and the other eye. You go, girl. Love the way you're doing this. You own it. Keep it up. Looking good, pretty. Come on, Heather, go, Heather, go. You're almost done. You slayed it, girl. Okay, positive reinforcement helps. For my mascara today, I'm going to use my holy triumvirate. It's my three, that looks like six. It's my three go-tos, Urban Decay Perversion my L'Oreal Voluminous. That had to have been recording, right? Oh my God, please don't tell me. Okay, so I've done my eyes, I'll complete the look, and I'm gonna do my foundation. I know for Valentine's Day, there are three things that I want in my skin, or at least the way the finished look of my skin is. I want hydration, I want full coverage, and I want glow. I'm gonna go in first with my amazingly favorite, unbelievable, can't even get enough of this. In fact, I'm almost done, and I'm going to be buying another one, maybe two or three, of the uh, Farsali Rose Gold Oil. And just apply it all over my face. Ugh, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. It's not an attractive face. <laughs> On my forehead. And into my skin. Next step, I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu Chamomile Eye Cream. And I'm just
I don't know what happens. And just hydrate the same exact thing, particularly in the outer corners of my eye. A little. I'm gonna go in with my Le Crayon Cole by Chanel. White, it's called Blanc, and I've been using this stuff for a very long time. It just brightens up the waterline and makes it look a little flirtatious and romantic and pretty. I love Chanel's pencils. They're very expensive. I treated myself to this um, a long time ago. I'm gonna jump back into my face to really bam up that glow. I'm gonna do my MAC strobe cream, but this is just the classic strobe cream. A little bit out into the palm of my hand like that. In with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush, and I'm going to apply that cream all over my face. Uh, it really does give you that natural glow from within and a little bit on my forehead. Okay. So next, let's put on our foundation. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow uh, Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory 201. It is probably, I think, actually no, I can confirm. It is the lightest shade they have and it's just amazing and a little bit goes a very long way because it gives you that like 24 hour wear. So I'm just going to take a little bit with my finger and apply it just sort of in dabs onto my cheeks. Just blend that out. So just tap, tap, tap onto my skin. I'm blending it out and on my cheeks. It is nice and very, very creamy and the coverage is divine. Just, it's like magical. I, I love this foundation. Very strongly encourage it for everyone. So I would love to hear what looks you guys like doing on Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comment box below uh, what it is that you like to wear, if you like to do bright, bold colors. I love watching people's differences and what they like to do, looking at everyone's insight, which always inspires me. And for concealer, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the lightest shade they have. And I just take it and I apply it underneath my eyes, bright as I possibly can be. Um, it does the trick. Voila. Now I'm gonna set my under eyes with a powder, my Revlon Photo Ready um, powder in extra light. It's actually in light, but on top of the concealer and in the areas where I can tend to get a little shinier. Okay. See? Skin still looks soft, hydrated, full coverage finish, and glowy. I <laughs> love makeup! I just love makeup. And for mascara on my bottom lashes, Benefits Roller Lash. And I'm gonna go back in with my Sweet Peach palette and I'm gonna take Charmed I'm Sure. Eyeshadows from the drugstore, so many great palettes from the drugstore or less expensive um, palettes. This one, I have to admit, I, I bought it out of like just impulse because I had to have it, but it was, it was a little bit more expensive. So again, any sort of um, neutral toned matte brown will do, or if you want to do a pop of color underneath your eye, go for it. And with the um, <laughs> e.l.f. professional concealer brush, I'm going to apply eyeshadow underneath my lashes. See the difference? How it just sort of rounds everything out. This eye, which doesn't have any shadow underneath the lashes, looks very pretty, actually. It might even make the eye look a little bit wider and brighter, um, but a little powder, I think, just sort of rounds everything out, makes it look nice, so. I did not know this brush was a concealer brush, you guys. I thought it was meant for this, or for eyeliner in some way, shape, or form. Goes to show you 
how creative you can get sometimes without even knowing it. Now I want to highlight a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes just because I feel like it plays up that like doe-eyed romantic sort of look and I'm going to use Nectar with my Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush. Next, I'm going to just soften it out with my amazingly favorite fluff brush and just softly blend it out so it doesn't look as harsh. And let's go in and warm up the face. And I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer and I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, stippling brush is what I call it and just bronze up my skin. I'm not going to contour and because the bristles are really pliable and flexible, they move and blend sort of the way I want them to. It doesn't apply too much or make it look too heavy. Making sure that everything is softly blended. It sort of brings my skin back to life. I'm going to use... What do I want to use? For that pretty pop of pink on my, that was an alliteration, pretty pop of pink. For that pretty pop of pink on my cheeks on top of my bronzer, I'm going to use the NYX blush in Pinky. And with my Real Techniques uh, blush brush, just apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. So smile. And just blend it back towards my hairline and softly down, ensuring that it is diffused okay so I'm gonna do my brows I'm gonna do a little highlight and I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna wrap this look up and just softly putting this into your brows I think your highlighter looks really pretty today Heather oh thanks it's the highlighter that I've had for about five years now I'm just gonna go in with my Sephora Pro contour brush my Mac Shimmering Loose Powder in Silver Dusk. Just applying it to the high points of my cheeks. Mm, she just comes to life with that glow. I will say I am in the market for a new highlighter, guys, so do let me know which highlighters you absolutely love or live by. Or just leave me a comment in the comment box below. All right, so our skin is highlighted. Now we just have to do our lippies. So for lips, let's do something pink and plush and pretty. Okay, so I found what I want to do on my lips. I want to do Bobbi Brown Sand Wash Tool Lip Liner. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Vintage. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. smells like vanilla. This is the completed look. I hope you like it. It's soft, it's romantic, it's pretty, it's angelic, it's sweet. It's great for Valentine's Day or any other day that you guys feel like wearing it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up again. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support and for watching my videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Girl does play, she don't play, 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 girl does play. She don't play. She don't play.